Welcome back to Summer Sunrise. I'm here with KP from the Beckridge Ski Resort, yes. checking fr uh, <laughs> frantically to find out the mascots. The mascots Olympics yes. is, and I want to talk about tomorrow, leftover salmon and all that, but let's go. The mascot Olympics is on Sunday. Yeah, we'll go straight to Sunday. It is so fun. We started this last year, so Ripper Roo invites some of his fun, zany friends from around the state. Yep. Last year we had Miles from the Broncos. We had the, uh, the Eagle from the Air Force. We mm -hmm. had a really really fun group of people or mascots I should say and this year I ha I can confirm that Spongebob Squarepants the official Spongebob will be here Sunday. Spongebob Squarepants will yes. be competing in the mascot Olympics. Yes and I heard that he has Krabby Patties on the line. Really but here's the deal about Spongebob he is not quite used to the elevation so I'm thinking Ripper Roo might have a leg up Hence, like when the New York uh, teams play yes, the Broncos. Yes, absolutely. So, what do you think? I think I think SpongeBob could get a major edema if he's here. <laughs> that would be bad press. <laughs> I know, I know. But so, the, it starts at 10 a.m. Okay. at the base of Peak Gate, and this is such a great event for friends, family, mm -hmm. whoever's in town, your kids. Um, I last year we just had a blast. And so it's all confined to, to PK, right? PK so base area, yeah. You can just take the gondola up, it's a free ride up, get off at PK and check it out. What time does it start? 10, um, to 10 a.m., 10 to... I gotta check you know, what, are the, what are some of, <laughs> while you're checking, what are some of the sports? Um, well, last year we had an obstacle course, obstacle course, and it included, you know, a lot of padded things yeah. that we have around the ski <laughs> resort. Um, so we're not ready to elevate to the train park yet, yeah, but that could be. You, you don't want him yeah. to do like, you know, a SpongeBob doing an ollie off the off the 22-foot no, pipe. Yeah, and Ripper Roo is really the only mascot we know of that skis and snowboards. Yeah, so okay. we we don't want to. Okay, that is that is Sunday, starting at 10 to <laughs> 10, going on to two. Now uh, now. 12. 10 to 12. Now going on to, uh, uh, is there music on Sunday as well? Yeah, so this weekend is another installment of the Bud Light Concert Series. Mm -hmm. um, on Saturday we have, of course, Leftover Salmon. Yeah. Um, the concert start at 2 with DJ DC, our local favorite DJ. Right. Um, he'll go on first and then Leftover Salmon will take the stage at about 3. That's Saturday. That's Saturday. And then Sunday we have Dar Darian Donovan. Oh, Frankenrider. <laughs> Frankenrider. Nice. Yes, he will be wow. here on Sunday, and he's very much a friend of Jack Johnson, kind of yeah. has that laid-back style. Yeah. So Sunday will be a really fun, laid-back day, and, and uh, the whole weekend just should be really so great. So a, a little bit more leftover salmon, a little bit more high-energy, you know, kind of rock bluegrass. That is on that is on Saturday. And then Sunday we have the Mascot Olympics kicking off at 10, and then Don, uh, Donovan Frankenrider going off at uh, Now the DJ starts at 2, Donovan goes off at 3. Yeah, but it's you want to get there, too, to get your Okay. Yeah. Now let's go reverse <laughs> chronological order. We started with Saturday, a uh, Sunday. I press release. I actually messed up the days. It went oh, backwards. So that's all right. Well, yeah. that's the story of my life. I'm list dexic. So yes. we started off on okay. Sunday. We're, we're, now we're on Saturday. Let's go to Friday, five till five. Yeah, so the 5 till 5 happy hour, we have some people that get confused by this. It mm -hmm. is where we we take the 5 chair and we leave it open till 5 p.m. Right, right. and the Colorado chair. And this is mainly in our terrain park in yeah. Freeway yeah. Um, and Park Lane or Freeway. Um, and, yeah, so we have free hot dogs, music, D DJ DC will be there, free power, you know, Powerade drinks, mm -hmm. Rockstar drinks, and all right, kinds of stuff. Right. So, and small contests. Where is that? Did you hear that explosion? I did, sorry. <laughs> Where was, I, thought the, I thought someone was shooting at you and going to miss and hit me. Oh, no, so, they're shooting at you. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, 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 you're much more likable. So <laughs> it is five till five, and uh, so the lifts, now where is all the, the, the hot dogs and the power and the, uh, the power drinks? Is that all at, at the base of the, at eight? Yeah, it's kind of at the base of okay. where freeway and park lane meet okay. and so most of the stuff the contests and all that stuff are in park lane okay. and yeah it's just a really great time to go and watch and we have a kids snowboard um camp this week as well the yeah. saturday and we have all kinds of things on saturday yep. we have a t-bar happy hour which is different than the five till five happy now hour. we should point out the t-bar happy hour is at the t-bar bar <laughs> not at the actual t-bar yeah, wouldn't that be great yeah, no no no, no. Wouldn't, no. I have to yeah. So a T-Bar happy hour is at the T-Bar. What yeah. time is it? Uh, 2 to 6. Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, there's all kinds of things to do today. Yeah. Um, we also have a uh, pub crawl here in town, KSMT pub crawl. Nice. Um, yeah, and then the Gold Runner Coaster actually will stay open a little bit later today as well. So Ooh. it's a great day to be up at Breck and spend, you know, the early part of your afternoon. And, and the weekend should be good. And then, you know, washing my car and wearing high heels. And I think we might have a storm on Sunday. Yeah, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> And, and don't forget, uh, we're going to be uh, open until the 15th and then two additional weekends. Yeah, two additional weekends, you know, weather permitting. But, you know, is the, the one thing I keep telling people that I've learned about living in Breckenridge yep. is 
man, it snows until June. So it's, it's coming. So <laughs> and you know what I've been given the menu for success is getting up on the hill uh, earlier, doing the, the skiing, the groomers, and then as the sun softens up the peak, venture higher up. I was on the Imperial Express in the, in the T-Bar yesterday. Amazing conditions. And uh, yeah, just in, in, uh, it makes me look like a superstar with that kind of that heavy snow. I was, I was feeling good about myself. You know, the good, a couple tips. Make sure you get a tune or, yeah. or, or a wax on your skis yep. or snowboard, especially yep. if you're visiting. I haven't been here since January. Sure. You know, and yeah, um, you know, pay attention to the different conditions. Um, but we do have some great up high upper terrain, and I, I took some of my best turns of the year last year. The only year. way I can ski bumps anymore is when they're w w kind of soft bumps. Well, right. Yesterday yeah. I saw a bump class up there, and I was like, oh my gosh, this yeah. couldn't be a better day oh, for perfect. a bump lesson. Yeah, so <laughs> if you want to take a bump lesson, call Ski and Ride School. Yeah. I mean, there, you know, there were five people in the lesson, and they were just cruising through, and I was like, I should just join this class. Yeah. So. Two more tips important for this time of year. One, certainly obey the ski safety code. Two put on sunscreen with a paint roller. Yeah, and you know, layer as well, because yeah. we could have, conditions can change on a dime, so if you're wearing a t-shirt and, yeah. and you know, your pants and just gloves, you should have a jacket with you in case the wind comes in or anything yeah. like that. So, um, but yeah, look for those varying conditions, and our ski patrol has done a great job yeah. marking obstacles, and you know, we're trying, we are doing some creative stuff with snowmaking to make sure there's some connectivity and key places, so. Oh, I thought it was, it was great Not conditions. to worry, yeah, yeah we're, we're, yeah. Uh, we're here for the long haul, don't stick a fork in us yet. Yeah, I was skiing yeah. topless yesterday, yeah. it was incredible. Oh, Okay. That's yeah. I think that's that's why the, that's why your lift ticket numbers went up so high. People, my God, let's get a, let's alert the media. People were tweeting left and right. So it's all happening. Let's let's a quick recap. Don't yeah. forget five at five tonight. The big soiree at the base of Peak Gate. Yeah. Tomorrow we have leftover salmon, uh, and as as well as a happy hour at the T Bar. Is that uh, tomorrow? Yeah. I mean, it's happy hour yeah. pretty much every day. The sun's out. And then Donovan <laughs> Frankenrider on Sunday. So and it's the mascot be, Olympics. Oh, mascot. Yeah. Started at ten on yeah, Sunday. It'll, so. be, it'll be a, it'll be a blast. I'm and, putting my money on Ripper Road. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. And everything you can find at BreckSpringFever.com or just Google Breck Spring and you'll find it. But yep. but it's all right there. We have it listed by family events, bar events, you know, concerts. So it's easy to find what you need. All yeah. right, and mascot events. We'll be back with more. You're watching Summer Sunrise. Check out just the uh, the website is BreckSpringFever. BreckSpringFever.com. All right, we'll be back with more. Don't go away.